Uh, Peter, you're a South London boy, aren't That's you, from right, Peckham? Yeah. But we'll ask you some London questions yeah. in a bit. But let's start off with what is your big thing? You say if you become mayor, you will get a grip of immigration. But how are you going to do that? Well, I think the thing is, the, 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 the two in your own poll last week at the BBC, the two biggest concerns for Londoners were housing, quite rightly, and immigration. Uh, all I'm saying, which the other candidates are not, is that these two are obviously linked. I mean, it, it is absolutely common sense and most people can see that. So what I would do and what I think the mayor has got an absolute obligation to do is to put that case to government and say, look, you know, we have to have a proper, fair, controlled migration system in all order to get a long-term handle on the housing but situation. But is there anything you, as mayor, could actually do, or is it just talk? No, it's not just talk. I mean, you know, if you remember, Boris, uh, when he was mayor, uh, said, uh, he still is mayor, but when he said he said there should be an, uh, a, a full uh, amnesty for illegal mm -hmm. migrants, I mean, you know, the mayor is in a position of extraordinary influence. And if, well, if the mayor doesn't, if the mayor doesn't that, do that, Peter. who does? London's economy, as you know, is yeah. built on immigration and a lot of immigrants probably are here illegally cleaning the streets, yeah. working in care homes, yeah. working in kitchens. Would you say they must go, we have to get rid of them, or would you say, as Boris did, no, let's give them no, an amnesty? No, I don't, don't believe in an amnesty at all. I think it sends out utterly the wrong message. In fact, it works in migrants' disfavour because it encourages all sorts of things like people trafficking. I think that's totally the wrong way to go. Um, I think the fact is, is obviously London is a great booming city, but it's got amazing strains now on all of its infrastructure, its housing, its transport, its, uh, its social services. And the fact is, all we're saying is that there's got to be, for the country and indeed obviously for London, um, a, a fair but controlled Okay, let's talk system. housing then, which is another yeah, of the issues yeah. you've mentioned. Now, you say you want to give priority yeah. to Londoners in yeah. terms of housing. Yeah. Who is a Londoner? Well, it's quite simple. What we've sort of worked out is that obviously London is a modern city, you know, and uh, there's a, always going to be a transitory element to a place like London. So we say that uh, in terms of social housing, if you have been in London for five years, uh, we think it's a very reasonable time that you should then have priority when it comes to housing, social housing. Well, what happens to someone who was born and brought up in London maybe gone away for a few years and come back, they go to the back of the queue again. Well, I mean... Because they would say they are Londoners. Yes, exactly, but I think that you, you have to make a move on this. I mean, in the sense that obviously there are different cases as such as that, but there is a, a lot of worry about the fact that people uh, who have been in London for a while, people have been put down roots, somehow or other uh, don't really get a fair but let say. Let me put it to you, Peter, yeah. that is a very divisive policy because he's saying to yeah. some people in London, OK, you're a true Londoner, you're not quite a Londoner and you're definitely not a Londoner. No, I don't say... I don't Isn't that what that. it amounts to? No, I don't accept it at all. I think that basically, uh, to say five years prior, you know, if you've, if you've been uh, living in a place or, 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 and put down certain sort of routes for five years, I think that's a very reasonable time, I mean, you know, to, in which to have priority. OK, let's... A lot of controversy about the Panama Papers yeah, and the offshore yeah. funds buying up property in London. Oh, yeah. Vast amounts yeah. of property, driving up prices. What would you do about that? Would you say, OK, you can only buy a London property if you are a UK taxpayer, for example? No, I uh, don't say that. Uh, I think that's unrealistic. Uh, I think the, the problem, the main problem, is that when people buy up property but then leave it empty and that squeezes well, the whole these, market these offshore funds exactly do. so what we would do is actually um, penalize this further by not just uh, uh, putting uh, the usual council tax on it but doubling council tax on things that have remained empty for two years okay, uh, that's a very fair I'm going to stop you there because we've yeah. got to do some quick London oh, questions right, okay. you use the tube don't you you probably oh, got off day. of Westminster okay okay tell me this what's next Westminster St James's Park Victoria uh, Westminster, St James's Park, Victoria, Sloan Square. Very good. OK, you're shopping in Oxford Street. Yeah. I'm going to give you three out of the four department stores. I want you to give me the fourth, OK? okay. John Lewis, Debenhams, Selfridges. Um, D.H. Evans. OK, very good. Football fan? Uh, hey, I was always the fat kid at school. OK, well, this is a sort no, of I half never. television <laughs> question. You remember uh, Till Death Us Do Part, Alf oh, yeah. Garnet? Yeah. Who did he support? West Ham. West Ham. Very, very good. Uh, last question, which I think you'll get. Who said, if you're tired of London, you're tired of life? Dr Johnson. Very good.